A viewer asked a question this week, Anastasia, I'm expecting, do I really need to go in to see my dental hygienist and why? Hey everyone, I'm Anastasia. This is Anastasia's Hump Day Happenings. First of all, congratulations on expecting. I'm not sure if this is your first baby or your 10th baby, who knows, but congratulations. Second of all, you know, yes, Yes, there's no other way around it. Yes, you need to see your dental hygienist. Here's why 60 to 70% of women who are pregnant will experience pregnancy gingivitis between the second month and the eighth month of their pregnancy. You know, swollen tissue, bleeding gums, it's really tender. So why does that matter? Well, if you don't take care of it or understand what's causing it, then it can get worse. Gingivitis is reversible and we are able to treat that with you. So know that ahead of time. It's due to the you know extreme fluctuation of hormones in your body. All right, so number two, if it's not gingivitis, it could be gum disease. If it's gum disease, two things, preterm labor, not a good thing, and low birth weight baby. They are contributed to women who have gum disease. Third thing, about 76% of recent study of women who are expecting have either bleeding gums, they have tooth sensitivity or toothache. First two are what I'm concerned about. Okay, so bleeding gums could be gingivitis, pregnancy granuloma, which you know is an inflammation of a site-specific tissue. We can help you out with that too. Number two is the tooth sensitivity. Could be because of morning sickness. And you know, when you're vomiting, it's only contributing to stripping the layers of enamel called enamel erosion from your tooth. We have products that can help remineralize your tooth and we have products that can help with tooth sensitivity that we can place you know, on you that will not harm you or the baby and give you nutritional counseling advice as to what's best going through this phase. Let's say you've got, you know, you want to breastfeed. We can help you identify whether or not your infant is tongue-tied. Three to four percent of infants in the United States, they are tongue-tied. Now, what does that mean for breastfeeding? All right, obviously, it's going to affect them nutritionally because if they can't breastfeed, malnutrition is going to be the result. But it's going to be really painful for the mother, and it's also going to be really frustrating. We can help you understand why. Because if it's you know that tissue that's holding the tongue down or the lip down, we can help with that you know, chair side, and that way too, make it easier for you as a mother and for your baby. So congratulations again, please see your dentist and your dental hygienist. Now you got a question for me, hashtag Ask Anastasia, and subscribe to this channel. I'd love to see you every week. Till next Wednesday, take what you learn and make a difference with it.